hi guys welcome to the second part of my video about organization and expression of immunoglobulin genes and in this video we are going to learn about how heavy chains in antibodies or immunoglobulins are formed now let me draw a heavy chain this is our heavy chain and I told that it's not one gene that can make up this heavy chain so there are multiple genes that make up this like single heavy chain and those genes are grouped as multi heavy chain multigene family and that heavy chain multigene family has to code for literally the 10 to the power 6 different types of heavy genes that we are able to produce and we are going to see now how that happens so in humans the heavy chain is coded in chromosome number 14 and let me just draw like a part of the chromosome number 14 how it might look like so first the constant region of heavy chain because we don't have that many different type of constant region we just have alpha gamma delta epsilon and mu and some of them have different subtypes so that's not a big of a deal but the problem is to create diversity by making about 10 to the power 6 different variable region and the variable region of heavy chain is coded by three different group of genes and those different groups are one is called v or for variable one is d for diversity and the another one is j for joining and in humans we have 48 different v genes or variable genes in heavy chain they put v as for heavy chain d s and j s and in humans we have 23 different type of d s genes and we have six different type of j genes now just from here right now we can see that any v gene might mix up with any d gene which might mix up with any j genes so that would give us a total power to make 48 times 23 times 6 different type of variable region in heavy chain and that equals to 6624 that's a lot of diversity than how we started so in chromosome how it's arranged is that we first have v edge genes let's say this is v edge 1 v as 2 and it goes all the way up to v as 48 and then we have for d we don't have this d portion of d gene in light chain so we might not write as for d that's all right you'll understand when it was the other video so we have d1 it goes all the way up to d23 and then we have j1 and it goes all the way up to j6 and after this we have the constant region of our genes so for example we might think of creating of one variable region and how it might happen is that let's say during and this is genetic recombination we you guys might think that uh, during RNA splicing we can create let's say a uh, mRNA with let's say m r n a with v as one and let's say d2 i'm just picking up random of this and j6 we might make a we can't make a mrna of this because these they are individual genes i'm not so sure about j1 to j6 if they are individual genes but this v as one v as two v as three d1 d2 all of them are individual genes and they have individual promoters for each of them so it's not it's not splicing but it's genetic recombination they combine to make this as dna not as mrna and we're going to see later on how this happens so this is how diversity in heavy chain is created and i'm going to talk about how diversity in light scene can be created in my next video thank you for watching